Welcome back. You're watching Lady India News Hour with me, Munman Bhattacharya. India has slammed Pakistan at the United Nations over deplorable condition of its women from minority communities. These women are victims of abduction, forced religious conversions, and forced marriages. Here's a report that documents their despicable condition. India slamming Pakistan for raising the Kashmir issue at the United Nations Security Council debate in New York, calling it a mischievous provocation based on their tested tactic of spreading misinformation. Exercising its right to reply during the UN Security Council debate, India put the spotlight on the deplorable condition of women from minority communities in Pakistan. We are well aware that the condition of women belonging to minority communities notably Hindus, Sikhs and Christians in that country, remains deplorable. An estimated thousand women of these minority communities as per data of the Human Rights Commission of that particular country are subject to abduction, forced religious conversions and forced marriages every year. If we break down the number of religious communities in Pakistan, we see that according to the 2017 census, Muslims make up 96.2% of its population, whereas Hindus are just 1.6% and Christians too are just 1.59% of Pakistan's population. As per an April 2024 United Nations report, UN experts were alarmed by the lack of protection for minority girls from forced religious conversions and forced marriage in Pakistan. Explaining how girls are targeted in Pakistan, US-based Sindhi Foundation notes that girls are generally kidnapped by complicit acquaintance and relatives or men looking for brides. Majority of the girl victims are minors, 77% are younger than 18 year old and around 18% are younger than 14 years. Minority groups have expressed concerns about the prosecution of Hindus and threats to their places of worship. In 2007, the only Hindu temple in Lahore was demolished to make way for a commercial building. A case that made headlines in Pakistan was that of Asia Bibi, a Pakistani Christian woman who spent years on death row after being convicted of blasphemy and now lives in Canada. The death sentence was quashed by the Supreme Court in 2018, triggering violent protests by religious hardliners. Authorities in Pakistan have been a mute spectator or at best ineffective in curbing this menace despite the severity of the issue. Efforts to criminalize forced conversions have been met with resistance from Islamic groups in Pakistan, so they are yet to materialize into concrete legislation. For instance, the Protection of Rights of Minorities Bill 2020, which talked about forced conversion, was rejected by the Standing Committee on Religious Affairs and Interfaith Harmony of Pakistan in September 2020. Such bill proposed measures such as setting an age limit of 18 years for conversion, ensuring due process and imposing jail terms for coercion in faith conversion. Minority groups have been facing other abuses and atrocities too, such as persecution and threats to their place of worship. In 2007, the only Hindu temple in Lahore was demolished to make way for a commercial building. So Pakistan would do well to introspect and course correct rather than point fingers at others. Bureau Report, DD India. Joining us for perspective now on this is